Today, Australian Foreign Affairs Minister Mary Spain highlighted some initiatives that the Australian government has in store for Papua New Guinea and the Pacific. One of these, the rollout of the Pacific Labour Scheme. Uh, this is doubly positive, uh, if, you, if you like. It's positive for uh, the Pacific in terms of that economic return that it uh, enables Pacific workers to send back uh, into their communities. The Australian Foreign Affairs Department will also establish an office to help implement development initiatives in the Pacific. The office will be a coordination point for programs Australia will engage in, including the Pacific Labour Scheme. The minister says during the APEC Leaders Summit, they will make arrangements with PNG with the aim to have PNG participate in developments in the region. The aim of the Office of the Pacific is to provide us with a whole of government focus, coordination point, uh, if you like, uh, in relation to our Pacific activities. It won't just be staffed by foreign affairs and trade officials, but it will have uh, agencies represented uh, within the Office of the Pacific. With this year's APEC team of embracing the digital future, Australia will work with the government to identify key areas of improvement to achieve digital inclusion. I think the uh, government here in Papua New Guinea is as enthusiastic as I am about increasing uh, Papua New Guinea uh, engagement. We will be talking to them about opportunities of really targeted focus between employers and sectors uh, and the Papua New Guinea government and uh, their communities. Rayon Lakingu, National MTV News.